this light bar reminds me of the Tesla Model Y Juniper. Right? I still waiting for a Pro Duo EV. Here it is, the glimpse of what they have to offer. Well, at least half of it, because it's a half-cut EV that's displayed here at Malaysia Auto Show 2025. And here's what we know so far. We are here at the Malaysia Auto Show 2025 and they give us a glimpse of what they're going to offer by the end of this year. In terms of design, it's not a hatchback actually, it looks more like a coupe SUV. You have that fastback design at the back and the front, it kind of looks like an Amora E5 because you have that very clean look. This one light bar on top and the headlamps are positioned on the lower sides of the bumper. And in terms of specs, they haven't provided much details yet but what we do know is that they'll get a CATL source uh, battery about 50 kilowatt hour uh, as you know uh, products not going to sell you the car with the battery the battery is going to be offered as a leasing program it's going to be offered um, as a battery as a service so you need to pay a money subscription for the car uh, what can confirm that it's not solvable uh, but they are considering of offering a buyout option for the battery but the good thing about leasing is that even after the warranty period or after eight years or ten years if there's anything wrong with the battery you can swap for a new one because the battery is not yours it's on leasing this is a dedicated EV platform. You can see it's a flat floor. The interior looks pretty spacious. You can see there's an underfloor storage be, uh, in the middle. You have uh, a rotary dial for the gear selector. And the back looks pretty decent. And I noticed that there's USB-C ports for the front and back, but there's no real aircon vents. And in terms of wheels, this EV rides on 18-inch wheels. And I can see that they have disc brakes all around and this EV is a front wheel drive setup because you have the motor mounted at the front. So far we don't know when it's going to be launched and what's the price exactly but we do know that it's going to be priced less than 80,000 ringgit and that's with the leasing program. Um, in terms of speed, well there's no details on the motor. What we're told is that it can get from 0 to 100 km per hour in less than 7 seconds and up to a top speed of 165 km per hour. So in terms of performance, this seems to be better than the Proto e uh, 5 but in terms of space, I'm not too sure. We need to see the final product. But overall, it looks pretty futuristic, it looks pretty sharp. Look at that design. So I'm not sure how many of these we made it to the production model, so we need to wait until the end of this year. So what do you guys think about Proto's new EV? We don't even know the name yet, so that's expected to be revealed later this year. If you want to check this out, you can come over to the Malaysia Auto Show 2025 at Maip Sedang and check this EV for yourself. So what are you guys think about the new product EV? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, like us on Facebook and don't forget to subscribe us on our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be informed about future videos. This is Alex from SoyaChinsha.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next one. Bye!